afternoon. Uh, on behalf of all the authors, I'm here to present our paper, The Effects of Camera Height, Actor Behavior and Viewer Position on the user experience of 360 videos. My name is Wille Mäkelä. I'm currently with LMU Munich in Germany. However, this work was done at Tampere University in Finland. 360 videos offer a platform for immersive experiences, especially when viewed with a head-mounted display. Researchers and practitioners have utilized 360 videos greatly in the recent years. A common area is cinematic virtual reality, where viewers watch story-driven 360 videos while being able to freely choose their own viewpoint. In addition to cinematic virtual reality, we, among many others, have utilized 360 videos as key parts for simulators intended for both recreational and educational purposes, interactive virtual tours, and also various industrial use cases. Based on the knowledge gathered by the research community and the industry, we can safely say that 360 videos can provide compelling experiences with a high sense of presence. However, we still lack understanding of how many of the basic properties of 360 videos affect the viewing experience and whether viewers have strong preferences about these properties. Therefore, in this work, we investigated three properties in particular. Camera height, by which we mean the height at which the 360 video is recorded. Actor behavior, by which we mean what the people appearing in the videos do and how close to the camera they are. Viewer position, by which we mean whether the video is being viewed while sitting or standing. We chose these three properties because they are fundamental to almost any 360 video experience. We were particularly interested in camera height, as it is often a conscious design choice. Logically, one might position the camera on the ground, roughly at the height of an average person. However, especially because people are of varying height, it is worth exploring this aspect. To be precise, we asked the following questions. How does camera height affect the viewing experience of 360 videos on HMDs? And what camera heights do viewers prefer? Does the viewer's own height influence the experience of and preferences for 360 videos? How do people appearing in the videos affect the experience? And how is the experience influenced by whether the video is viewed sitting or standing? To answer these research questions, we conducted a user study with 24 participants, including 18 males and six females. The participants were between 20 and 52 years of age, the average being 27. The participants' height varied between 157 and 189 centimeters, the average being 176. In order to gain sufficiently comprehensive results, our study setup was relatively complex. The study was split into two parts, both of which were completed twice. In part one, participants watched, watched 360 videos with varying parameters and rated their naturalness and presence. In part two, participants watched 360, uh, 360 scenarios and could freely switch the camera height using a controller. This was made possible by recording each scenario at 16 different camera heights. This way, participants cho chose which camera heights they preferred. To present the study in more detail, for the viewing experience part, we recorded three different scenarios. Each contained four actors. In the away scenario, all actors stood far away from the camera, roughly four to five meters away. In the movement scenario, actors switched places and two actors walked right past the camera. In the near scenario, the actor stood close to the camera, roughly one meter away. The shared characteristic across the scenarios was that at some point the actors would turn, pick up a piece of paper from the table behind them, and show it to the camera. This happened twice in each video. Three papers would display an empty circle, and one paper would show an X inside a circle. The participants' task during the videos was to locate the person with the X. Task performance was not measured, Rather, the task was included so that participants would have a reason to look around the scene. For this part, we included four different camera heights. Each scenario was therefore recorded four times, resulting in a total of 12 recorded videos. This part was repeated twice, once sitting and once standing, resulting in a total of 24 conditions. Participants rated the naturalness and presence of each condition after viewing them on a seven-point scale. In the second part, we investigated camera height preferences in detail. 
We included the same three scenarios. However, this time no search task was involved, so the actors did not show papers to the camera. We recorded each scenario 16 times at different camera heights, resulting in 48 recorded videos. The camera heights varied between 71 and 219 centimeters. In this part, participants were handed a controller. Using the controller, part participants could watch a scenario and freely move between the 16 camera heights. The videos were synced on change so that it appeared as if the viewer was simply moving up and down in the same video. This way, participants chose their most preferred camera height for every scenario. In a similar way, they also chose the highest and lowest camera heights that were still comfortable to them. This part was also repeated twice, one sitting and one standing, resulting in six different conditions, all containing 16 camera heights. To recap this rather complex study, the study was split into two parts. Participants completed both parts twice, one sitting and one standing. In the first part, participants watched 360 videos with three different scenarios and four camera heights and evaluated their naturalness and presence. In the second part, participants watched the same scenarios and could freely move between 16 camera heights. They chose their preferred camera height as well as the lowest and highest still comfortable height. In this talk, I will quickly summarize our results. Although we ran statistical analysis on all of the conditions, I do not go through each of them here, but instead I will summarize the main trends. With regards to actor behavior, the best results for both naturalness and presence were observed when the actors were standing far away. When the actors were moving, the results were in some cases slightly worse and in some cases comparable. When the actors were near the camera, the results were again generally worse, but not in all cases. These patterns were generally the same for both sitting and standing viewers. Therefore, the distance between the camera and the actors has an effect on the viewing experience, although this influence is perhaps not as pervasive as we expected. With regards to camera height, we can see that in most cases, the two middle cameras, which are 132 and 159 centimeters, performed better than the highest and lowest cameras. Overall, the 132 centimeter height was rated the best in terms of naturalness, and the 159 centimeter camera was rated the best in terms of presence. Therefore, overall, these two middle cameras performed equally well. For both naturalness and presence, we found correlations between the viewer's height and their rating in only two of the 24 conditions. This suggests that the viewer's height plays only a minuscule role in their viewing experience. With regards to the second part of our user study, participants chose their most preferred height from 16 available heights for all six conditions. They also chose their lowest and highest still comfortable camera heights. This resulted in a comfortable height range for all conditions with the most preferred height somewhere in the middle. Generally, the comfortable height ranges and the most preferred heights are surprisingly low. The comfortable height range varies roughly between 40 and 50 centimeters. Seating viewers prefer slightly lower viewpoints than standing viewers. However, the comfortable height ranges are large enough so that placing the camera at roughly 150 centimeters hits the comfortable height range for all tested conditions. With regards to the viewer's own height, we were surprised to find absolutely no correlation between the viewer's height and any of the camera height preferences. To summarize, our key, key takeaways are as follows. The viewer's own height has little to no effect on the viewing experience and camera height preferences of 360 videos. This is great news for the creators of 360 video experiences as they do not need to worry about the variance in viewer height. The most preferred camera heights across all conditions are surprisingly low, well below the eye level of an average person. Seating viewers prefer slightly lower heights than standing viewers. However, the comfortable height range in all conditions is around 50 centimeters, which is large enough so that the height of roughly 150 centimeters hits the comfortable height range. People close to the camera may make the viewing experience worse. Similarly, very low and again, very high camera placement may have a slightly negative effect on the viewing experience. Overall, our results help in understanding and designing immersive 360-degree experiences. 
Thank you. Okay, so any questions or comments from the audience? Uh, I'll ask a question with that. Uh, I'm Chris from the Hit Lab New Zealand doing research on the video storytelling as well. Uh, actually, I got two, so I can ask them together. Mm -hmm. First is uh, the chosen of the actor behavior. You have the close, far, and moving, so how was that being chosen? Uh, how was that chosen? Yeah, because it looks like they got related to distance and movement as well. Mm, uh, I think generally we were motivated by our earlier work where we had recorded uh, 360 videos from city centers and whatnot. And, and, and we always felt that it, it felt a little awkward if, if a person came close. And, and it often happened that uh, when a random person walking on the street, they would notice the camera and they would kind of stop and, and look at it and, and so forth. So, so mainly we were motivated to uh, investigate the, the proximity of, of people around the videos. But I think as, as kind of a middle ground, we, we chose to include also this kind of a movement scenario where they only briefly pass by the, uh, the camera because I think that is a quite common scenario that, that people would just pass by the camera briefly. So it's like a mimicking the situation you're gonna encounter on a regular street or cityscape style. And the second question is that how's actors movement related to, to the viewers preference of the camera height? Cause I didn't see too much being um, that uh, described. Yeah, I, I don't think we investigated uh, like two way interactions because it was already quite a comprehensive study as it is. Uh, so I, I don't unfortunately recall if, if we actually did that analysis. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure if there was an interaction between the two. Uh, so it's uh, not related to the preference of the height? Uh, not directly, no. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the second question is, go ahead. Uh, very interesting project, uh, research. Uh, you said when the people very close to the viewer, so the viewer feel uncomfortable. Can you give any explanations? I, actually, I'm not very convinced by this result. Okay, uh, well, uh, in, in my previous answer, I, I mentioned that this is something that has kind of come up in, in several of our previous projects where the viewer easily feels a bit uncomfortable when uh, another person is close to the camera and is looking at it. And indeed, we did observe the same effect here. But uh, I also agree that it, uh, the, the effect was not as strong as we perhaps expected. So we found statistical differences in some of the conditions, like uh, the experiences were generally worse when the actors were near the camera, but this was not true for all of the conditions. Um, is it because the, the video quality is very low when you move close to the viewer? Uh, I it think it may be, but uh, we used uh, 6K quality videos, so I, I think generally the video quality was quite good. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, so please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the interesting uh, talk. Um, I was wondering for the sitting scenario, was there a chair in the 360 video and do you think this would affect the naturalness measure? Uh, good question. There was no chair uh, in the video itself. Uh, we did not consider that effect uh, during this study, but I, I think it's a very interesting idea to see if that would affect it. So we used the same uh, equipment. We had this kind of a tripod uh, that varied from 71 to 219 centimeters for all videos. Um, and did the lowest height, does that correspond to about eye level for a, a sit seated position? Uh, I think it's, n no, the lowest height was way, way lower than that, oh. I think. Thank you. 